Ooh, that looks fancy. Well, I guess I should probably do a introduction. So, uh, hello and welcome to Generation Zero. For you of though, for you for, for those of you who don't know what this game is, this is basically a kind of post-apocalyptic zombie, not zombie, but like robot survival as evident by the giant robot in the background there. So I think the first thing we're going to do is, I do have a character, but I kind of want to start over just because I wasn't really happy with how the last one was going. So let's go ahead and create a new character. And I don't know what he's going to be. Let's go with, let's go with that one. I don't know why, but I feel like that's a good option. There's only A or B. Let's go with B, okay. What do we want? Do we want punk, uh, hip hopper, that's not going to go well. Uh, greaser, uh, popular or nerd? I don't know. Let's go with, I don't really do greaser because I don't want to be, well, granted all of these are freaking stereotypical, so I don't really know. Let's just go with military. Let's go with the style one military. There we go. Uh, that, I don't think that really does anything, but that's character in my opinion. Oh, nope, we're just here. All right, we're in. So basically, to sum up what that large portion of text said, was that after World War II, Sweden was like, yo, we need to defend ourselves. So they came up with this idea for like this autonomous thing to defend against all forms of tax. And uh, cut, jump to like, I think it was like 20 years later, 1969, I think is what the year said. I don't remember. Pop up so I can remember what year it was. They, uh, some kids are out in the boat like, oh, Lord, it's getting on a boat. And then all of a sudden, some literal missiles came from the mainland and blew them sky high. And I was the only one who made it back to shore, apparently. And that's why I'm here. Because I decided to go on a boat with some of my friends. Okay. Let's see here. This is, I'm pretty sure this is going to be pretty much the same as before. But you can never be too careful. Is that motion blower detect? Oh, no, that cannot. The, great, the game does not pause whenever I pause the game. Okay, that's scary. I should probably keep that in mind. That's better. Okay, there we go. Now I can actually see things. This is one of the very few... Well, actually, to be fair, this is most likely just a port of the PC version. But this is one of the few games on console where you can change your field of view. Which I very much like. Because I usually play my console games on a monitor. And somebody's broken into this house. And there are dead things on the ground. What is that? What actually is that? Oh, that's a freaking robot! That ain't good, Chief. Gun. Right. Okay. Now, this game, this game, whenever I first played it on a live stream of mine, it genuinely terrified me. If I can pull up some freaking footage from whenever I first did play it, I'll probably show it right now. If not, Basically, what happened was I got, I, I was like, I was sweating, I, my heart was thumping, I was scared, man. You don't understand how much I was scared. Flashlight, oh, okay. I was actually very scared of this game, and I don't know why, but it was good. And the reason why I played it in the first place is because I saw a YouTuber called IGB, I, IGB, what the frick, no, IGP, there we go, play it. And I was like, yo, that game's awesome. Now here we are. Me terrifying myself. And again, it's not even that terrifying. But it's terrifying to me for some reason. Getting a lot of drilling shots. What are we supposed to do? Something about checking that out. Alright. So, also, I, I may have stolen IGP's little, I guess, trademark. I regret everything for this, for the, like, the first video on this game. And I, I regret nothing. I regret nothing doing so. Contrary to what his says, which is he regrets everything. Am I supposed to? Hold on. What am I supposed to do? Uh, skills log. Search the police car for ammo. All right, I shall do that. But first, wait, why is that blinking? Oh. Oh, take all. Yes, please. What's in here? Take all. Okay. Anything, people, there we go, uh, jacket, military green jacket, shirt, can I wear, yeah, that looks, it's not 
beneficial in any way, shape, or form, but it looks nice. At least it looks nice, looks nice to me. Okay, what does this little mark over here stand for? Does that just say that something's there? Yeah, it just says something's here. I guess I missed something. Oh, hello. Take all. Is there really nothing else here? There's gotta be something, man. I wanna get all the collectibles. What's the point of playing a game without getting all the collectibles? What the frick, man? Is it out here? No. Oh. How do you do the... That's not it. How do you do the glasses? That's not it. That's still not it. X? No. A? No, that's jump. How do you do the binoculars? How do you do the binoculars? How do you do them? Wait, do I gotta put them on? Ah. Put them on there. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now we can see far. And there's something that looks very gruesome. I don't know what that is. Looks... Oh, I can zoom in pretty far. For that. Oh, it's a robot. Okay, we're good. thought it was, you know, somebody's dead body. But I don't want to think about that too much. Even though I just said it out loud. I'm a little bit of a hypocrite, can you tell? Alright. I think... Yeah. Ah, oh, good. Got some ammo. Is that... Oh, yeah. Police person's gone. Oh, that's a shame. I'm gonna take all. Anything in the back here that's worth my time? Got an emergency flare now. What's this? Oh, that is a lot of ammo. Hold on. That is a lot. What the frick? Can I not... Yeah. Why do I? Why did I? Why was I using the other ones first? Locate and destroy an enemy. Oh gosh! All right, so here come the enemies. The first enemy you see of the game. They're not that terrifying. Not gonna lie, but they can be when they get in numbers, especially whenever you're just a little lonesome boy, and they can see literally freaking everywhere. All right, see if I can do this. Oh, oh. What the frick did it just do to me? Where that? Oh gosh. I got something. There we go. I shot that boy down. Okay. What do you got on him? Absolutely nothing valuable. Okay. I should probably. One second. I should probably, you know, equip these first aid kits someplace. Going to assign them to right slot. That's not the slot I assign them to. Yep, there we go. And then, going to do it there. And then, wait, adrenaline shot? Okay. Emergency flare. Ah, okay. Going to put that to bottom slot. Also, fair warning, freaking emergency flares tend to crash the game. So that may be every, yeah, they tend to crash the game. So if that happens, <laughs> when it was the emergency flares fall, what can I say? One thing I do have to say though is that the music is very good at setting the mood. It's like like electron like electro music and it's got like this kind of dark kind of twist to it. It's like it's very much like Terminator movies almost. Even though I'm I'm a, not millennial but I'm a young boy and I haven't really seen many of the Terminator movies, but you you know what I mean whenever you play the game. And I don't think I'm going to put the, you know, music in for my own purpose for music. You know what I mean, it'll work out in the end. Okay, so now our objective is to follow the road to find a safer place. Even though I don't know how possible that is, considering that all the safer places are probably taken over by robots. So, you know, this one's going to be a little bit tough in my opinion. I think the thing that terrifies me the most about this game is freaking that. Is that free you could just be running along the road and you have no idea that something could be lurking around because they kind of blend in with the trees almost and it's just it just it gives just gives me the heebie-jeebies especially like if 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 i did ever pull up that stream clip i was i was genuinely terrified because those freaking robots they just scare me where the frick frick i see it 
hiding behind a tree. Why are you? Oh, it's right there. I don't want to shoot because I don't want to learn any more that could be around. Oh, frick. That's the thing. You don't know how many more are actually around. So I'm just going to go ahead and go and hopefully be able to avoid this thing. Oh, and there's a little person icon up here. I don't know if that's... This may just be for the hunting rifle quest. Because there's a, they got little side missions that you can do. One of them is like a hunting rifle thing. So I assume that's what that is. I hear you say you down and you're tired. Men are all the same and they last. Girl, you got me praying for Zion. Cause I've been outside trying to do right. I hope you see you loved in his eyes. I know you've seen the darkest of times. I hope you see the love in his eyes Believe me, there is more to this life What do you, what do you say? Don't give up Yes, you've been hurt, but the scars here, love Yeah, look up to God when these boys trip up A man ain't a man till he knows who's wrong I hope you say you love I hear you say you 